Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with a extra special edition of friend mail. Back a while back, I opened a box of British snacks that I had gotten and one of my viewers emailed me and he's from the UK and he asked if he could send me a snack box full of more well-known, more popular British snacks. He thought he could curate a better box. And I'm like, hell yeah. And he sent it all the way from the UK. This is from Carl Cooley. And get this guys, this box came here all the way from the UK in trace days. One, two, three. It's like a Christmas miracle. And I'm pretty sure that Carl is Santa Claus. <laughs> Carl Cooley, CK, Chris Kringle, equals Santa. How else is it possible? I'm so pumped to dig into this box of authentic British snacks. Handpicked by Carl. Thank you so much, Carl. Like I said, he has to be Santa. There's no other explanation. Some bubble wrap. How cool is this? The coolest. Customs. Yeah, came from Great Britain. So cool. We have a note. Carl, I hope you don't mind if I read this. Let's see. I hope this parcel finds you in one piece. We put a really good mix of different things together for you. I was going to write a list of everything and what they were like, and some have U.S. equivalents to it. But where's the fun in that? I have picked up things that you really do commonly see, from childhood favorites to everyday things you get from the shop, i.e. store. There's a few things I will explain. Let's see. I put two sweet selection boxes in which we give to other people at Christmas. I put smallest ones I could find in for you as they would fit and just give you an idea of taste of what we do around Christmas. How fun! Santa. There's also HP brown sauce. I know you like savory foods, I do. My mouth is already watered. <laughs> This is a tangy tart, slightly spicy sauce. Mmm. Very popular here in breakfast or bacon and eggs and sausage. Let's see. I have a cousin in the US, similar. I will see if you can find out the similarities. This is very unique sauce. I love it. I hope you have fun trying out these sweet and savory snacks. I have chosen some popular ones for you. Um, the ones you see daily here and some of my personal favorite various snacks. I hope this finds you in good health and I look forward to seeing your reaction video. Also sorry if I duplicate anything in your video or sent to you. I couldn't remember offhand what you got in the first one. I can't remember either. <laughs> so if you did, I won't even know the difference. Best wishes and enjoy your friend, Carl. Yours, Carl. How freaking exciting. There's a bunch of chips right on top. Y'all know I love my chips. The Real McCoy's Rich, rich Cut Flame Grilled Steak Chips. These sound fabulous. They smell good. Mm. Like a Ruffles. Mm. Mm. Oh my 
my gosh. Tastes just like a bite of steak. No fooling. I can't eat too much of each one. I'm not gonna get through this box, but this is delicious. Oh my gosh. It tastes just like steak. That's one, that's my favorite so far. One in. Um, some more McCoy's Ridge Cut Salt and Malt Vinegar. And we have salt and vinegar chips here. Not malt vinegar though. I never had Ruffles kind of ones, Ridge ones. Mm, smells like vinegar. These don't taste near as tart as the ones we have. The ones we have here is like when you taste them. These are not that way. These are good. They're very mild, mild flavored. I guess that's the malt vinegar. Which I have had malt vinegar before on some fish from Captain D's. <laughs> I know that's what they do in the UK, right, Carl? Y'all have vinegar on your fish. And I thought I would try it and it was good. And here we've got just some salted, crinkle cut salted. I guess this is like the plain. The basic plain chip is good for depth and hot sauce application. Roast chicken. Roast chicken. I got a chicken flavored chip in a foreign box before. I don't think it was the same brand and I loved it. I can't remember if it was Universal Yums or Munch Pack. It's so weird. Y'all, it smells like freaking chicken. Like chicken salad is what it smells like to me. Mmm. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken broth. It doesn't taste like roast chicken to me. It tastes like chicken broth. I feel like a character in the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory chewing, Veronica chewing up that gum and getting the different flavors of the meal. Yo, this is packed full. I mean, packed full. This I've never seen before. Bacon flavored fries. Bacon flavored fries. Okay, these do look similar. These look similar to something I had not too long ago. It was a different, they were colored like this, but they were different. They were more like corn puffs. I don't think about a taste of bacon. Interesting. To me, they don't taste like bacon. They're um, not bad at all by any means. I don't taste bacon per se. 
they're very different. They have two of these. I'll save this other one because I've already tasted this one. Let the kids taste some. It looks like we, ooh, ooh. scampy flavored fries. Like shrimp scampi. Scampi and lemon flavor cereal snack. When I hear scampi, I think shrimp scampi. It smells shrimpy. Not overpowering in a bad way, though. It's a puffed. I was a little scared of these, but they're good. So weird, they taste like shrimp scampi. They 100% taste like shrimp scampi. That is so weird. And all these are like everyday snacks still. So weird. We don't have anything like that here in the US. Nothing. Next it says Skips Light and Melty Prawn Cocktail. <laughs> I'm always scared of the fish flavored ones. Prawn again is like huge shrimp. That's what I think of them as. Light and melty snack. Place them on your tongue and let them melt in your mouth. There's a bunch of different shrimp and prawn flavors. That must be very popular over there. These are different. They do totally dissolve. They totally dissolve, but I don't think there's much flavor. They're kind of like foam that dissolves in your mouth. I don't really taste a lot of flavor in these. I don't taste prawn cocktail. It's bad by any means. It just tastes like it's weird. I can't even explain what they taste like. Like a salty chip, but then not because they're melty. McCoy's cheddar and onion. That is a popular flavor here in the U.S. See if it tastes like ours. It's one of my favorites. Cheddar cheese and onion. I get a lot of the Lay's. <laughs> Smells good. These are good. These are very tasty. I like them a lot. Another prawn cocktail. This is by this is the chips. This is the Different company. Walkers, the label looks like Lay's. They're, I wonder if they're similar to our Lay's. They smell really good. They look like Lay's. Mmm. These are good. I like these better than those. Prawn cocktail. That tastes, it tastes to me kind of like cheddar onion. 
cheddar onion chips. Mm, very tasty. Those are good. I'm gonna need a lot of chip clips. I'm so glad you sent me so many chips because that's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, this is different. I'm gonna get the glasses out for this one. Twiglets, original, a whole lot of crunch and a whole grain munch. Oven baked, I have no idea what these things are. No, no idea what these things are. I think this is gonna be something totally different than I've ever had. Are they kind of like our Cheetos, but not cheese flavored? Mmm. Mmm. Very savory. I can definitely taste like the whole grains. We don't have anything like this. This is something I told, the shape and texture is like a Cheeto, but the flavor is nothing like a Cheeto. Yeah, like whole grains, um, savory. It's good, it's very different. He hooked me up. He hooked me up. Four bars of flake, the crunchiest, flakiest milk chocolate. This is by Cadbury. We do have Cadbury things um, in the U.S. around Easter. We get the Cadbury cream egg. I, that's my favorite. That's what I always get every year at Easter. I don't know a whole lot else that they have, though. These are like candy bars, I guess. They're definitely different. Yeah, they're like layers of chocolate. Mmm. It's very good milk chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like the chocolate on the cranberry cream egg. Delicious. Delicioso. We have got some nuts. I'm super excited to see these. Classic dry roast. And salted. Get my scissors. Yeah, I'm going to need lots of little baggies because I'm not letting any of this go to waste after I've opened it. Okay, looks just like peanut. Nobby's nuts. <laughs> They're delicious. Salted peanuts are very yummy. Now, let's try the dry roast. Good. They're both good. I'm probably partial to the salted. Because I love salt. Y'all gonna have to tell me as I'm doing this um, if you've had any of these snacks before. 
Jelly Babies, bursting with fruity flavors. This is a quite weighted bag of candy. I'm gonna have to pause here in about five minutes and go get Stella. That's why I keep looking at the clock. Mmm, they smell good. I think that's powdered sugar that's around it. It's a, looks like a teddy bear. Oh, that's different. They're not gummies at all. What is this consistency? It's strange. I don't think we have anything that I can relate it to. I guess maybe like a jujubes, but nothing like that chewy. Pretty much as soon as you start chewing, they like melt in your mouth. Mm, good. They're real good. They're very sweet, not sour at all, or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause here and go get Stella. Um, it'll just be a second to you guys. It'll be about 30 minutes for me. BRB. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Next, Matchmaker's Cool Mint. Matchmaker's Cool Mint. Let's put some glasses on. Are they like chocolate, mint chocolate sticks? Mmm, they smell like it. How do I open this thing? There we go. Like a cigarette pack. <laughs> Oh, they smell fantastic. I love mint chocolate. It's more like Andy's. Oh, these are different. These are cool. These are so cool. Mmm. There's just something crunchy. Something crunchy in there, a little chewy like a toffee or something. It, and the description is right, cool mint. It's very cool and refreshing. Those are delicious. Yum. APXL Crunchy Coated Peanuts Flame Grill Steak Flavor. <laughs> Yay! Y'all remember when I got those Takis peanuts and they had that crunchy layer on the outside of them that freaked me out. I never had them before. That's what this is like. That's what these are like. But, because it's reclosable. Peel and okay, there's a sticker. Um, I distracted myself, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, mm. I love that flavor. Did I show you what it looks like or just shove it in my mouth? It's very good. I love that steak flavor. They also have jalapeno salsa. Sweet chili with a twist of lemon. That's probably like the talkie flavor. I'd like to try that jalapeno salsa too. 
heel and wing close. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. It's like a little piece of tape. <laughs> That's handy. There's so much sweets in here, guys. There's so much sweets. Lord have mercy. I don't even know where to start. There's probably 20 candy bars in here. You're really trying to fill me up, Carl. <laughs> oh, Smarties. We have Smarties. Nestle's Smarties. Here they're round and they come in little packs of um, cellophane, little tubes of cellophane. I wonder if this is like their Christmas candy he's talking about. The kids will love, they love Smarties. If these are like ours. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Sixlets. Our Smarties are, okay, no, no, no. Okay, I'm thinking of Sixlets. Our Smarties are those little chalk candies. These are totally different. I wonder if these are gonna be chocolate. Our Smarties are um, like fruit flavor. These are, these are chocolate. These are like M&M's. Mm. They taste different than M&M's though. They taste very different than M&M's. They're totally unique. I'm trying to think of what they taste. It's like more sugary tasting, more candy tasting than our M&Ms. These are very different. Oh, yes. Cadbury dairy, dairy Milk Caramel. This, we have Carmelo's. It's like my favorite candy bar. I wonder if these are gonna be like that. Let's find out. It may take me a, I may have to do this in a couple, over a couple days. Look at that. I'm not gonna have any room for supper. It looks like it's gonna be like our caramel. It's gonna see a little string of caramel there. Okay, I'm different. Mmm, it's delicious. This is freaking delicious. It is different from our Carmelo in that our Carmelo is a like more of a crunchy chocolate, a hard shell, and when caramel in it, it's real runny. This is a real soft chocolate, like in a typical candy bar. <coughs> and the caramel is a little chewy. It's delicious. But still real soft. Not a hard caramel. We have two Cadbury, I feel like Willy Wonka. These look like Willy Wonka chocolate bars. Two huge Cadbury chocolate bars, dairy milk, and fruit and nut. This is the best night box ever. Dairy milk. Okay, let's try the plain one first. No golden ticket. That's so creamy. I 
reminds me of Dove chocolate. How they like just start cream melting in your mouth. That's freaking delicious. Fruit and nuts. I'm very curious about this one. I wonder what fruit it is. Looks like a cranberry and an almond. Let's slide out. They call me Mellow Yellow. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Be sure and break off a piece that has the stuff in it. I think we've got fruit and nuts in this bite. I should have let it melt some on the tongue off the other one. Mm. That's good too. That's very good. Delicious. Whisper. What the heck is this? Cadbury Whisper. I've never heard of this. I have no clue. I guess Cadbury is like their Hershey's. Like we have a bunch of Hershey's and Mars brand. There's this Cadbury. Weird. The taste is delicious. Milk chocolate. The um, texture, it's real soft. It's light. I don't want to say it's soft. It's very light. Maybe kind of like a truffle or something. Very different. I don't, we don't have anything like that. Toffee crisp. This is Nestle's. I recognize Nestle. We don't have toss toffee crisp though. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love this candy bar. The outside of it is like um, Nestle Crunch. And then in the center, it's like that caramel. When I think of toffee, our toffee is hard and crap, like real, like glass. I mean, it's real hard, like peanut brittle type texture. That's like chewy caramel texture. It's probably cough toffee. This is delicious. How in the world am I gonna eat all these things? Oh good, here's another one. Yay, I got two of my favorites. I got two of these. Terry's orange chocolate. 
we have an orange chocolate here that's in the shape of an orange and you whack it on the table and it peels apart like an orange. I love it. I love orange flavored stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Smells like oranges. Mm. It's really good. I love orange flavored chocolate. And it's such a weird combo when you think about it, but it works. To boost. No idea what this one is either. Boost by Cadbury. Yeah, I think the only time we see Cadbury is really at Easter. The Cadbury Bunny. What the heck is that? There's a cookie. It's kind of like our Twix. There's a cookie in there and it's surrounded by caramel and then surrounded by chocolate. It doesn't taste like a Twix though. It's sweeter. The cookie in the middle is like chocolate cookie. It doesn't have, it's, it's a good. It's funny because the candy bars don't have descriptions on them about what they are. Like our candy bars will say nougat, milk chocolate, caramel, you know. Theirs do, do not. Twirl. Twirl. Never heard of it. There's two separate sticks. It's like the wisp. And the flake mixed together. Yeah, it's very similar to those. That Cadbury chocolate's good. This looks, oh, this looks different. Bounty, and there's a picture of a coconut on it. There's two Bounty bars in this pack. I'm glad I got a bunch of Ziplocs. <laughs> Ziploc bags to store this stuff in. I wonder if this is going to be like our Almond Joy. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. Or mounds, I guess. It's got palm trees and bounties stamped in the bottom of it. Hey, Stella. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like our Almond Joy. You want to try some of this? Um, we made these. You want to show them? We made these last night. Haystacks. It's um, chow mein noodles, peanuts, butterscotch, and peanut butter. Stella handed those out today for Christmas presents for the mailman and the bus driver and her teacher. Yeah, I 
got two of those too. Do you got two of them? Yeah. The other one. Cool. Mars. That looks like a Milky Way. That looks like a Milky Way. Which I think our Mars bars are Milky Ways with almonds on them. Basically, right? You don't see them very often. You don't see them very often around here. Milky Way, one of my favorite candy bars. Delish. Give me three of those. Joffy cakes. Ten Joffy cakes. Never had them. If I have, I don't remember. Which Joffy cake eater are you? Number one, the all-rounder, nibble around the edge, stay, save the best for last. Let me see. Weird. Weird. It's soft. It's got some kind of jelly like substance in the middle, topped with chocolate. This is like a cake at the bottom. Original blend of dark, crackling chocolate, light sponge and the smashing orangey bit. Very different. We don't have anything like that that I'm aware of in the US at all. Very different. I have to have the kids try that one. Very cool. Oh, this must be the sauce he talked about in the letter. HP sauce. HP sauce. What did he say to eat this on? Breakfast food? HP brown sauce, tangy tart, slightly spicy sauce, very popular here on breakfasts or bacon and eggs or sausages. It does have a cousin in the USA similar. Okay, I wonder what it is. Let me see, if, let me taste it and see if I can. The only sauce that we use at breakfast time is syrup. <laughs> And this doesn't sound anything like our syrup. It smells like Heinz 57. We, it smells like Heinz 57. Um, we eat, I love Heinz 57. I eat it on chicken usually. You can put it on burgers. Yeah, 
it tastes similar, not exactly, like Heinz 57. This is so cool. I would eat this on steak. I would definitely dip some steak into this guy. Yum. Okay, these must be the two sweet selection boxes, which we give each other at Christmas. I put two smart ones in your box. We have this one that's a Cadbury. And this one that's Maltesers. Oh, they're Mars bars. They're saying their Mars bars is different from Milky Way. The Maltesers look like um, Whoppers. Of course, we have Twix and Milky Way and Mars. This stuff kind of fell out of the... What's the difference between their Mars and Milky Ways? I'm going to try their Milky Way and see if it's different than ours. Oh, their Milky Ways are Three Musketeers. That is so funny. This is what we call Three Musketeers. I wonder if their Twix is the same. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. That's the same as ours. I love Twix. You see, these are like Whoppers. Uh huh. Yum. Like our whoppers. These are cute. These are really good ideas. We don't have anything like this to give away at Christmas time. We have boxes of chocolates, but they're little random mystery chocolates. Let's see what's in the Cadbury one. I must be crazy eating all this in one setting. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I think I just lost one. I'm sure. I don't know. All these things are foreign to me. Curly Whirly. Curly Whirly. That's good. The chewy caramel. Covered with chocolate. 
That's good. Fudge. Oh, fudge. What movie is that from? Cool points if you get it. I think I'm gonna be full of chocolate for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? This is not what we call fudge. This is, I have no idea what that is. It tastes good. It tastes good, but I can't, I have no idea. I can't even describe that to you. It's not like nougat. Freddo. frog. Solid chocolate. Really good. Dairy milk buttons. Okay. We don't have anything like this, but I can imagine what it tastes like. Little chocolate discs. Good. Tastes good. This one is chomp. A chewy thing in the middle of it. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't really taste like caramel. Maybe it's toffee. They're toffee. It is definitely a different. Chomp. This is the last thing. Shortbread biscuits, product of Scotland. We have a lot of Scottish in us as well as British. I'm mostly British. I think 20% Scottish, 20, 30% Scottish. Stella's 40% Scottish, smaller British. He'll be your guard night and day, your faithful pal on life's highway to 10. Still, I'll probably get a kick out of trying this. She gets the kick. She's got the most Scottish of any of us. Me or Sam. Sam and I are predominantly British, so she gets a kick out of that. But she got more Scottish jeans. We did the ancestry DNA thing. Oh, these are individually wrapped up like Pop-Tarts. Mom's in the baby love shortening, shortening. Mom's in the baby love shortening bread. Dry. That 
they taste to me kind of like almond cookies. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. That's my whole bag. Again, thank you so much, Carl. This was so fun. These snacks are going to last us a good while. Uh, it was so interesting and delicious, and I loved it. Thank you so much. What did y'all think? Again, give me your feedback if you tried any of this stuff. Give me a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe if you like to watch unboxings and taste tests and all kinds of fun stuff like that. And I'll see you at the next one. Mm -hmm.